So for my PMA, we have Homislav Rostolsky, and from PMI, we have Stipa Shade. So we'll start with Homislav, and then um, of course afterwards, we'll have our normal uh, panel, so you can ask all the questions you want. So let's welcome to Homislav. Okay, thank you. Okay, hello, everybody. Uh, my name is Tomislav Rostolsky, <coughs> and a uh, few things about me. I am. Um, very long time in project management now for 15 years. Uh, usually I work as a consultant or a project manager. I have started uh, in 1998 during uh, my study uh, and after that I, I uh, uh, managed to... Uh, I, I was uh, more in a uh, software, not software development, but implement, implementation of software uh, in uh, different companies, public and uh, private companies. After that, uh, I have found out that uh, certification is uh, very important, and I joined, uh, I think, 2002 uh, to AP, uh, IPMA, or uh, Croatian version, or Croatian representative of APMA, Croatian Association for Project Management. And uh, I was also uh, first uh, first uh, person who got who get uh, who got uh, level D certificate, which is the lowest level uh, at a a APMA. So I'm very proud because I have uh, experienced uh, different levels and uh, different kind of exams. So we can share in that informal uh, part. Uh, I can share with you and maybe recommend you which kind of certificate is uh, good for you. Also, I'm a senior lecturer and I work here in Al Algebra, just across that small <laughs> street or parking. So we can uh, also meet officially or uh, down there in a coffee, coffee shop. Uh, IPMA, uh, it's a short version of our International Project Management Association, which is uh, one of two members uh, uh, for pro project management at international level. Uh, IPMA is uh, located in uh, Switzerland, so maybe more here dominant in European part, Euro European uh, continent, and uh, general idea of IPMA is to promote uh, project management and uh, to uh, grow uh, one big network of project managers. And in Croatia, uh, it has representatives, Croatian Association for Project Management, which uh, is founded in 1999. IPMA uh, usually uh, works uh, on the way that uh, it has in uh, each country where it's present, uh, kind of national representative which uh, represents IPMA at local level. So uh, also the exams uh, for, and certification uh, is also in local language. So IPMA has uh, in Croatia uh, exam for certificates in Croatian level, in Cro Croatian language for all uh, levels. Uh, IPMA standard uh, is uh, a competence baseline, uh, which is kind of a book which you have to learn or you have to prepare uh, on the base of that book if you want to uh, pass the exam. Uh, also, I can say that uh, IPMA uh, competence baseline is uh, uh, free if you want to download it for, from internet. I think that you just have to uh, keep your, uh, just uh, put your data on, a, oops, what happened? just that you have to put uh, your data uh, and uh, register yourself and then download it. So it's a recommendation to have it like a literature for uh, maybe to, if you need uh, to know some uh, some things for your work, you know, if you want to uh, learn uh, different uh, areas. So it's very, very useful, like uh, reading literature. Uh, certifi certification levels are uh, four, kind of four grades in uh, at IPMA. 
Uh, D is the lowest level. It's certified project management associate, more like team member, certified team member. C is certified project manager. I think that's the maybe uh, the most popular level and the most of people get uh, this certificate. Also, B is uh, certified senior project manager and A is certified project director. So it depends uh, how many experience do you have in uh, managing projects, how many years if experience do you have, then uh, you can decide or uh, you can apply for some level. For that topest level, certified project director, you need minimum five years of experience uh, managing complex projects or programs. Uh, from that, at least uh, three years, you have to be kind of a project director. You have to be in charge in the coordination of all projects within some organization. And uh, you have to supervise work of all project managers within some uh, division or some uh, small firm. So it, I think uh, it's uh, pretty complicated to get uh, that certificate. Um, I think maybe in Croatia there are seven, eight or nine people who has that level A, just in Croatia, I don't know, for the rest of the world statistics. Level B is a senior project manager. Uh, it says you have to, uh, you need to have five years of uh, project management experience, at least three years on uh, managing complex projects. What is simple? What is complex project? It depends on uh, different elements, uh, uh, mem uh, number of team members, uh, the budget, the length of the project. It has uh, different uh, things how to define complex and a simple project. So now maybe level B for somebody here maybe is uh, reachable, but I think uh, I should recommend you all level C or level D just to start. Uh, IPMA uh, doesn't uh, have restrictions. You can go directly on any level if you have competence. Here for level C, it says that you need three years of experience. Uh, managing simple projects. So I think uh, most of you, maybe if you work three, three years uh, full-time on a project, then you uh, have a chance to uh, have a chance to accomplish that certificate. And level D doesn't have any restrictions uh, in experience. You just need uh, to pass an exam. Exam is not uh, easy, easy one. It lasts for five hours and uh, you have uh, three different areas. One is uh, like you have to write an essay, you got uh, questions about a few fields in the project management, usually three or four fields in the project management, and you need to write an essay, you have uh, two hours for that. After that, you have a multiple choice questions, like 60 questions, uh, and you got one hour for that. And the third part are just uh, you have to uh, work on uh, different cases which you get you get some case and you have to calculate a critical path or something like that so you uh, have to show that knowledge for that you have two hours so exam lasts for five hours it's the same uh, exam for level d and level c so you can choose uh, maybe for a start you can pass the exam and then just to upgrade on the level C because this, the, that written exam is the same. Uh, here is uh, some table which shows uh, different levels and uh, different stages which you have to accomplish to get a certificate. First stage is just application, uh, curriculum, uh, self-assessment. It's a very interesting part where you uh, self-assess yourself. And uh, when you write an exam, uh, when you go to interview with your assessor, then he can see how, uh, what is your opinion of yourself. You know, you self-assess yourself through areas in project management and after that, uh, you uh, write exam and then he can uh, match <laughs> the results of the exam and your self-assessment. Then you can discuss it uh, and that uh, can tell uh, a lot about yourself, you know, how are you see yourself as a project manager. 
uh, after uh, exam you uh, accomplish and get a certificate if you pass exam for level D for that lowest level and for level C, B and A you need to uh, work on your project report uh, you have to write uh, about your project uh, you get uh, different areas which you have to on which you have to work and report uh, and it is kind of report on about 15 or 20 pages uh, very detailed report you get for that uh, one month and after one month you go on interview with your assessor you, uh, you have two assessors which assess your work and if you uh, pass that exam uh, that second part of the exam like a project report then you get your certificate also is a pretty same for level B and level A uh, but it's uh, much more complicated here you uh, have a report about portfolio projects and uh, you get for that three between three and six months so it's much more detailed uh, report uh, validity of uh, each certificate is five years and after five years you don't have to pass exam anymore only uh, if you uh, if you start your arrest certification after those five years you know you have to start the process within these five years and uh, you just have to pay 20 percent of uh, certificate and uh, you get certification uh, also uh, in these uh, five years you have to uh, uh, accomplish also a few things you have to uh, collect uh, some points uh, you have to prove that you have educated yourself that you have uh, listened to some lectures in project management and that you uh, also uh, managed uh, some projects during those five years so it's not uh, very complicated but uh, if you don't work on a project and uh, if you don't work on yourself uh, then you cannot extend your certificate uh, i think that's it just from the slides now we can discuss a little bit or maybe we can uh, uh, first uh, what stipe has to say and maybe then have some discussion, maybe formal or informal, whatever you like. Thank you. Okay, hello everybody. My name is Tipe Shalev, which is always not this name here. I borrowed this presentation, so <laughs> <laughs> I didn't stole it, I borrowed it. So uh, just to see, this guy has more certification than I have. Uh, PS, PS, PSMP, PMP, PMI, and LMP. So you will see all this presentation in slides. My, I have only this one. This is, let's say, most important one, I think, for project managers, uh, the basic one. And the others are uh, more, let's say, or difficult or less difficult. I will explain it in presentation. So, next slide. So regarding uh, we are starting the certification, what kind of certification we have. So I said before, I told you before, the project manager professional certification, this is the most important certification. And there are most, uh, person, uh, there are most uh, persons that have this uh, certification. Uh, this is a less, uh, let's say, difficult certification. You will see later in slides why. And so the people who haven't got uh, a lot of uh, working experience and uh, uh, in the project manager, management area, they are choosing this certification. This one is a uh, program management professional uh, certification, a uh, difficult one. Program is, uh, let's say, set of uh, projects which are connected together. So uh, this is also more difficult presentation uh, certification. So we have also a risk management professional certification uh, uh, handling uh, about risk and a scheduling professional uh, certification about schedule. You know that in project there are a lot of knowledge materials, uh, actually in uh, PMI uh, book uh, there are about uh, uh, nine of them, but I will not go in details to explain all of them. You can see how it goes uh, with history of certification. First start with the PMP, as I said, it's a basic for project managers. You will see there are a lot of project managers who have this uh, certification. 
Then we have project management, uh, schedule, risk. Uh, this is new one regarding Agile. So industry of project management uh, recognizes Agile as important part of uh, project management. Although they are not uh, actually recognizing project managers, but more product managers. But uh, nevertheless, we have also certification in this PMI area uh, connected with uh, Agile. And uh, the two new ones are regarding business analysts and regarding portfolio management. It's a, the, let's say, newest certification. What are the top uh, benefits of PMI certification? From my experience, I could say yes, this is true. Not always. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, every salary, yes, if you have PMP certification, you can get higher salary, but you should ask for it because nobody will give you. So if you pass the PMP exam and then you said, okay, I need a 20% higher salary because I have read somewhere that uh, project manager certificate has a greater salary. Yes, it is true, but you have to ask for it because uh, it is not granted. So re global recognition, uh, there are a lot of uh, recognition for PMP certification in the world. I think in the United States, Steve, you can uh, confirm that it's a PMI certification for uh, let's say mostly mostly known in Britain. This is Prince certification, and also it might know. So I will not read all this. You can uh, have presentation later. And this is important. How to be a certificate project manager? It's not easy. First, you have to have some kind of uh, professional work experience. Let's uh, concentrate only on PMP. I will not go in detail for every, every present uh, this certification because it's a mostly common certification, and let's say most important. So you need to have a bachelor. If you are a bachelor, then you have to have about 4,000 to 500 hours. This means about two and a half years working as a project manager. So it's a lot of work. So this is why you sh uh, we shouldn't have a lot of PMP because you should have some experience. Of course, you could fake it, but uh, it is not something that you should be proud of. And if you haven't got a diploma, or you have got only high school diploma, then it is 7,500 hours. Also, you need to have professional education, 35 hours. And uh, exam is uh, about four hours and 200 multiple choice questions. That means uh, less of a minute for every question. You, say you have to pass, I think, 60%, I forgot, but about 60% you have to pass these exams to, uh, to pass, ex uh, to, to uh, correct answers to exams to pass this exam. Exam fee is for PMI member $400 and uh, for non member $555. This part is when you are certified, then you have to, every three years, to, uh, let's say, recertify that you have to have number of uh, these personal uh, uh, points uh, that you have to earn. I will explain later how. Again, another certificate, uh, PMBA, uh, the PM, uh, almost the same, uh, so I will not go in details. So how many there are in the world? This is a number from April 2017. You can see there are about uh, 777, 7384. You can read it, I will not. Uh, so you can see this is the most common certification. This is the new one. I would like to be this one. I think uh, the practice, uh, the, uh, they recognize that business analyst is something that is, let's say, important to have to be certified in also. So you can see non-PMP certification, mostly of CAPM, because it's easier to be certified of CAPM. If you haven't got a lot of experience, you can be certified for this one. Total PMI members are this number, and there are members in 2010 countries. 2010 countries, also in this country, I'm a member of this uh, PMI board. Uh, we have a chapter, PMI Zagreb chapter, with chapters also in uh, Istra and in Slavonia. So actually, uh, so if you want to join, you can, we can talk later regarding how to be volunteer. We are all volunteer in this PMI uh, chapter. We are not paid for that. Uh, regarding this continuing certification requirements, what I have told you before about these uh, points that you have to collect in three years, uh, you have to collect points in three areas, actually. They recognize uh, this is effective from December 2015 in technical project management, strategic, strategic and business management, and leadership. So you have to educate, to, uh, to volunteer to, in these areas to collect points. Uh, it, 
So this is let's go more in details. Uh, what this, does it mean, technical project managers? It depends actually in area what you are working for. Sometimes it can be uh, connected, I don't know, with banks. I'm mostly I'm working in banks uh, or something with uh, a something with uh, IT. Depends of uh, let's say area in which you are working. Also leadership. So you are working with people. You know you should know how to lead the people. Persons. So actually, knowledge, skills, and behavior specific to motivate, motivating and guiding others. This is important. So leadership, uh, of course, is important. Let's say skill that you have to have if you want to be project manager. <coughs> and business and strategic. You have to understand business. So mostly that's why I also mentioned this one business analysis uh, certification. Why? Because in future and now, business people want you to understand business. Not just to come, okay, I will lead projects, okay, but you have to understand. You will not be expert, you will not understand deeply this, but you have to understand overall business con context of your project. You have to go deep. Not uh, you should, Certainly in this period you can go deep, deep, but uh, you have to be expert in some areas. For example, I was working in card area, uh, card uh, uh, related area, and they know that I'm expert in this area, that I know this area. Okay, uh, how to collect points, uh, so uh, education, you have to collect uh, minimum 35 points in three years in these areas and giving back a maximum 25 PDU. So if uh, sum is 60 points, then uh, uh, you have to collect here 35 and the rest you can co collect in these areas. Also in volunteering, set, uh, creating knowledge, so actually I'm volunteering in PMI chapter, I get some points there and I also uh, now is PMI conference, and you have to, uh, to go on this. 13th of uh, November uh, is PMI conference. There will be about 320 uh, project managers that will participate in this conference with a lot of interesting uh, mm -hmm. topic like uh, blockchain. I have seen some bitcoins there. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. So uh, we will also tackle this uh, topic, but uh, I think it will be interesting. And if you didn't, you, you have still time to apply for this conference. And again, this is uh, for, a set, uh, so for another cycle, I will not go in details. Uh, top five reasons to earn a PMI certification, credibility, transferability, competitive advantage, commitment, relevance. Okay, I will also not read this, uh, but uh, uh, I can assure you that uh, I can, let's say, sell project manager that is professional easier than this one which is not. So uh, it is uh, important to have this uh, certification. On market today, uh, they are asking if you are certified or not, and uh, so you have to be certified if you want to have better jobs and better opportunities. How to pass the exam? As this is interesting, I can give you my example how I did it. So I brought two books, thick ones, this one and this one. So they are important. So as you can see, one is Project Manager Body of Knowledge. This is fourth edition, but now it is sixth edition. And in sixth edition, there are some new things. They have introduced Agile. They have something changed about stakeholders. There are a lot of changes, but you can find all this on PMI.org uh, uh, website. And this one, this is one is actually dull, a very dull uh, book, and uh, it is not easy to read. You can see I have passed about three months. This is my book. Uh, so what I did, so actually effort uh, how to pass the exam. And this one is really good one. I can recommend it. Uh, this is uh, Rita Malkalhi, Malkahi, I don't know how to spell it. And uh, fortunately, this uh, lady died, but uh, uh, actually, uh, <laughs> unfortunately, not fortunately. <laughs> but uh, she wrote a really good book, uh, her team. And uh, this one is uh, after each chapter, you have a question, so like an exam, and you can practice uh, after each, uh, let's say, knowledge area, this is scope management, you can practice this uh, by answering this question. So what I did, I actually put both books simultaneously, one by one, uh, and this took me about three months. Of course, I, have, I was working then, I had, uh, then I had more kids or not, I don't remember. Anymore, it was 2010. And uh, also I have to, uh, let's say, uh, write some kind of diagram whole, uh, across the whole world because there are a lot of processes here, and you have to connect these processes. And if you don't have a whole picture of this, you will be lost. So I, I used a blank wall, and I wrote it uh, like processes on this wall, and it was really a good experience. 
So it doesn't mean that you need to have uh, three months to, let's say, pass this exam. Some of my colleagues passed it in one month, some didn't uh, never, because they didn't study, so you have to study. So uh, I think uh, if you want to prepare for this, you should prepare and have a, a time for this to pass this exam. So how to quick tips, read the applica applicable certification handbook. So you can visit all is actually on PMI.org. It's very good to explain there. And you can always ask a local chapter, PMI chapter, where we volunteer. If you need some kind of advice, we are also giving advice for free. So when you pass, then you will earn the badge. Project manager professional, you, I have a real badge, it's, but I'm not wearing it now. Mm -hmm. And you can be proud of that because it's really difficult. You know, 200 questions, and then you are four hours in one room, and then you are answering. Uh, the questions are really complex. It's not like one, uh, one uh, sentence and then uh, answer. Then uh, it's actually that you have uh, to read it, you, can, you need actually, I don't know, five minutes. So, but you have less than a minute, so you have to really read quick and to answer it. And this is it. More or less, I think, explained everything. But of course, after that, we can discuss it uh, informally, formally, whatever you want. Thank you. So, uh, I might have missed it. We'll start with the first question I have, which is, uh, how long is the PMI certification good for? Is it uh, uh, the, the PMP certification? Uh, how long is it good for? Uh, so we, as I said, told you before, it is actually three years you have to recertify. Okay, so it means uh, cycle in three years. Okay, great. But it, it doesn't mean that you have to pass exam again. So you right. have to only collect uh, PDUs. Okay. And you are collecting by reading books, by going to a conference, by Volunteering, uh, a lot of mid volunteering doing whatever. a talk for PM Meetup. <laughs> so actually, this uh, also can be uh, one that you have uh, been on this conference. You can put one hour that you have discussed this and that you have been on this meetup, and this is also good enough. Great. Questions? I have like a thousand questions. <laughs> uh, so how does uh, IPMA, how is it different than uh, PMI and vice versa? I mean, what's the difference? Why should I? certificates for one or the other? Maybe it depends uh, what, uh, in which field do you work, maybe the companies which you work, what, what kind of certificate they prefer. That, uh, that, was, that would be my choice, you know. Maybe if you are may work with those companies who prefer PMI, then you get a PMI certificate because those uh, two organizations also work together. They are not uh, some also, each organization wants to have more certificates for themselves or more people, you know, but they, they're talking about the same field. So, in the that's US, my opinion. <laughs> yeah, in the U.S. especially, uh, you'll see the PMI certification, PMI. PMP, and in Europe, I think IPMA is more popular. Yeah, and, and, Brit then, and Britain is Prince. Uh, okay. Yeah, Pr Prince 2, which is, Prince 2 is based off of... Um, this uh, process called ITIL, and it was based off of the British government's IT systems. And so in the UK, they, they actually have a lot of Prince II certification. Yes, actually, uh, it is not important, I think, because when they are hiring, when you are reading uh, that they are asking for experienced project manager, they are not asking for PMP or IPMA. They are asking that it is a, he is certified. But sometimes they're asking PMP certified, so it depends. So you can uh, read the uh, hiring uh, notice and then uh, you can choose. See what they're yeah, you, yeah. you can also, you, you have also in Croatia, for example, uh, only in one law it was uh, implemented uh, that uh, uh, certification levels, you know, in, in law, when you are a construction project manager, if you are man managing project uh, which is more than 10, 10 million kunas, uh, you need to have certificate uh, if, if it is public or European funding. Uh, then you need to have a certificate, also PMI or IPMA. Mm. They, 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 they actually they, specified they it in the law? Specified it, uh, one of those two uh, uh, organizations. Yeah? Doesn't matter which one. So. And most probably it will be in the U.S. You will know better than me. Then Obama actually, uh, the, in Obama administration, there was a law uh, that uh, governments in the USA should be educated uh, uh, by project management for project management. I'm really not sure. I can't. Yeah, say. <laughs> I don't know. It was. Uh, 
three years before? And neither I confirm nor deny oh, it. Okay, <laughs> two years before or something. Yeah. You, you, you Google it and I'll you will see you, it. I'll trust you. Yeah, you Google it and you will see it. So actually, they recognize they, they need in local administration, they need uh, project management. For sure, we need in our local administration, we need a project management. So, uh, I think you, <laughs> we don't need it to explain this to you because uh, uh, there are some examples. I know that in local administration they're using project management, but I think there should be everywhere. So educate, not educate, but you should have a person that is dedicated to lead a project and call him however you want. Guy A, guy B, but he should be responsible for this project. And then after that, uh, he needs to be educated and he needs to be certifi certified and then you come to this certification and because this certification for your PMI is actually not that you have to use this book as something you have to follow this. This is more the, from experience, people who actually lead the project and uh, they wrote the book. This is not, yeah. uh, so this is called the PM Bach or PM Body, Body of Knowledge. Of knowledge. Who's, who's read it before? Yeah. I've read it. You Anyone did? Else? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I Parts of it. Who's read, who's heard of this book before? Okay. okay. I read Lucky it you. The first edition in '96. <laughs> <laughs> After that, I now we have fixed. Now sixth. In April, now it's uh, coming sixth edition. A lot of changes. Agile in, inside because you have now agile in different book, but now it will, will be combined because they understood that you have to mix waterfall techniques with agile techniques, and actually you have to have it both for some projects maybe. So there's <coughs> everything that's in there is really I think industry agnostic. Um, yes. So parts, I'm like reading through it, I'm like, this is how you build airplanes, I don't need this for IT projects or software projects. So there is a lot of stuff that I think is excessive, because I think most everyone here works in IT or, or software. Um, that being said, there are many very useful things in that book, so if you haven't read it, you definitely should skim it, find the parts that apply to your job and, and, and read it. But first read, read that, because it's, you know, it's more, more easier and it's actually it's uh, written in some way that you can read it uh, actually without effort, and this one you need uh, <laughs> you need effort. Other questions? Next question for Stipe uh, and for uh, Oxlop. So the baseline for uh, ITMA certification is uh, this competence deadline. So competences of uh, project manager. Uh, what is the baseline for uh, project uh, for PMP? So first, uh, to apply for certification, you have to be project manager. So you cannot apply for certification when you haven't been a project manager. And uh, let me just jump in real quick. For the D level, do you have to be working as a project no, manager? No, you don't have. You don't need any experience. Okay. As okay. a project manager. And slight, here, so slight difference. Here there. you have seen in these slides that you need to be project manager. So you cannot certify, be certified if you're not working as a project manager. That makes sense, actually, how to be certified something that you didn't work. So uh, this is first part. Second part, you, uh, what I uh, have to told you regarding uh, drawing the processes. There are a lot of processes here, a lot of knowledge areas. There are a hundred thousand of them. And actually, you have to understand in each, each knowledge area what is going out, what is going in. And that uh, basic is to understand these processes. I have, because I was working as a project manager before, of course, but I have to, let's say, twist my mind because we are we're not working actually by book. We are working, as you know, projects, uh, how it goes. And then you have to twist it and to start thinking like it is in book. And you have to go uh, uh, following these processes. And this was the most difficult part, you know, because uh, I was not uh, in experience that I was working like this and then uh, using this in, in practice, actually, if I answered your question. Other questions? Maybe we also can just uh, a little bit elaborate uh, with the ITMA certification. Uh, as, as I know, it, it's, it's more based on the project manager and his competences in, uh, in three areas. Uh, you, you think uh, like uh, how to pass an exam? Or, yeah. yeah uh, the, the exam, uh, that uh, written exam, is the same for level C and level D. Uh, so uh, you have those three areas, which I explained earlier. And uh, in these areas, uh, you need, uh, as, as uh, in PMI, you need to write, uh, read that uh, PM book. Uh, here you have to read uh, competence baseline, which is, uh, I think, not that big. It has like 100 pages, 120. Uh, so also, uh, you have, uh, I think, 46 knowledge areas. 
So it's one part was uh, kind of uh, technical knowledge areas, behavioral and contextual knowledge area. So you need to uh, know, like, uh, have theoretical knowledge, and uh, then you uh, that other part uh, are just multiple questions, and the third part are just case study on which you work. Uh, so it's a little bit uh, different. So I think also in PMI you, you have to calculate something, uh, critical yeah, path, are, and it's yeah, pretty the same. Yeah, there are some mathematical, uh, let's say, uh, 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 exam, exam, like, yeah. 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 The part, but uh, this mat mathematical part is actually the easiest one because it is, uh, let's say, most logical. It, if you know mathematical formula, you will solve it in a minute. But the other part is, you know, that you you have to guess and uh, you have to understand whole structure because it's mathematical. Just you sh you uh, use the formula, and this yeah. is easiest but part. For for um, if you compare a certificate, uh, that level D is that uh, their uh, lowest level. It's uh, C. PMA. Yeah, so we, uh, uh, as a kind of, yeah. because we don't have here, let's say, level. We have CAPM as, uh, let's say, uh, you don't need to have a, a practice, but you still have exam about 150 questions. questions yeah. And this other uh, certification, uh, let's say, a risk and schedule, because you have risk and schedule also in PMP, but this is more in detail. In detail. And portfolio, uh, it's more complex, of course, because you are using, uh, let's say, all portfolio of uh, projects. And uh, program is, again, more complex. So you have, let's say, more complex, but not uh, similar to this one, and CAPM is only one that is a light, let's say, PMP, yeah. and this is the difference between uh, to have light also called certified associate in project management. Yes, this so is it's, CAPM. It's the associate. Yeah, yeah. associate. Yeah, yeah. It's actually not, not project, project manager, manager it's, it's associate. associate. Yeah, as a team member. Yeah. Yeah, because ah. it's not easy to collect. You know, nobody will give you project if you don't know to lead the project. So. Now you have a loop. You you don't have experience. Nobody will give you project, and you have to have experience to be certified. So how will yeah. you do it? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so you need somebody who will work with you, and in the beginning, and to be, let's say, uh, so uh, some kind of assistance, and that's the uh, point. Uh, sorry, let me just jump in real quick. Uh, one other thing that you kind of touched on was that, I, and I don't know if it's inside the competence baseline. But there's that self-assessment that you can actually, on the website, you can find it. And then you can go through and kind of figure out how you score, how you rank, maybe areas that you need improvement. So I've seen that for the IPMA stuff. I don't know if PMI... PMI also has... has uh, I didn't do it when I was preparing an exam, but it can help. Uh, you can ha find on internet, uh, I think I have some kind of examples also of this uh, presentation. You can find the uh, questions and answer on internet, or you can buy it or whatever. So you can al also uh, have this kind of how to be sure that you will pass the exam. Got it. Uh, based on the definition of a project, a project is something that has a beginning and has an end, right? So how do you distinguish something that was a project? Because you all, for both, you need three or five years experience to gain a certain level, right? But not everything continues to be a project. What if you started a project to work on something and then this became day-to-day -day routine job and it's not a project thing? Is yeah. this calculated in the three to five years uh, experience or, or, or not? Very good question because, you know, in this uh, certification you have to have uh, experience in five areas. Initiation, initiation of project, planning, uh, execution, uh, monitoring, controlling, and closing. So you can start the project, so be in initiation phase, planning phase, and then this project disappears, so became something else. So you have collect points in these areas. It's okay. And then another, you will, uh, somebody will give you a project which is already in execution phase. Okay, it's good. So you only have a point in this area. So you uh, shouldn't, you don't need to have experience in whole project in whole five areas. You have to collect in these areas experience. You, uh, you cannot uh, go to an exam if you don't have experience in all areas. You, you cannot go without closing, for example, <laughs> or something else. Okay, so my question is uh, related. How do you actually prove your experience? Uh, <laughs> How do you, uh, by title, by yeah. my documentation, yeah. how, how, how do you actually... Very good question, that? because some, somebody is fake uh, also, this <laughs> can fake. Yeah? So you, you are in this uh, application, you wrote, uh, I finished this in this project, and the person who can verify it is this and this. And randomly, they check fifth or tenth uh, or somebody, and ask to verify has signed this and sent to this. So usually nobody wants if it's someone who leads a company or whatever to put his name and signature or something that is fake. 
So we actually you have uh, it can happen. It, it, for me, it didn't happen. I didn't think, but <laughs> anyway. <laughs> but for example, for my colleague, I also have her presentation, but we haven't got time for that. Uh, she had uh, actually a letter from uh, PMI, and uh, they asked for uh, her. They asked her the, to actually person who was uh, nominated as a verifier to verify, to sign it, and to send it to PMI. So you have to sign it, and then okay, yes, this person actually finished this project, actually worked on this three, two years, and I'm signing, and uh, let's say confirm this. Is it the same for IPMA? Yeah, it is the same for IPMA, but you have to, in front, uh, you got uh, to fulfill one table, where is uh, each line, like in some Excel sheet, where is each, uh, each uh, row is our uh, information about the project, and that at the last uh, column uh, you have to write uh, two persons, which were, for example, sponsor or your boss, you know, two persons which can verify that you worked that time on that project and in that row. So you have to do it in front uh, uh, during you make your application for IPMA. Uh, for so I, I, C and above. I have a, a question that's kind of related to this, and maybe Mladen will touch on it as well. But uh, I work on seven projects at once, and uh, I'm I'm usually scheduling developers, um, working with developers to deliver a product, and maybe it's month after month. If it's especially if it's agile, like there is no finishing the project, it's just an ongoing work. So how would that work into this structure? Difficult. So it is not a question of structure, it's more how you can, in your mind, divide your time. Because I'm also now leading four projects in, in the same time. Mm -hmm. And the four projects, I think three is uh, enough. Uh, and uh, especially depends in what stage. Because three projects is execution phase, it's, it's impossible. But if you have one in initiation phase, two, and if they are not the same size, then you can do it. So it is not a question about PM book, and it's more a question how you can divide your time to lead this project. So I don't think it is possible to lead seven projects in the same time, if they are not small or if you are not delegating to someone else. Because I led a program which had 11 projects, but I have a project manager for each. Well, that's, why, that's why I have junior project yeah, managers. Yeah, yeah. No, you yeah, you said you, you, you lead seven projects or you work on seven <laughs> projects. It's different. You, know, you can work on three as a team member. <laughs> so you are not leading well, seven. I was the boss, so I was <laughs> leading all of them. <laughs> you can you can be a team member as a boss. Uh, so <laughs> so as far as like project verification goes, uh, I guess how does that fit into the structure of saying like I worked on the project? If I'm leading a team that's working on the project, is that going to count? If yeah. I have direct reports that are, oh, I, I mean, have, I'm, I'm involved to, at a high level, but I'm not there. You have to be project manager. That that only counts. If you're a team member, that doesn't count. Yes. You know, that's even before I think it counted, but now in this uh, new, you should be a project you manager. You should be a project manager. First, PMA, you can you be, a be a team project manager. Yeah, but a small uh, project. For PMI, for, I think I it worked see. before that you can be a participator. Also, uh, but the project manager is someone who leads. This. So if you are leading, okay. If you are just uh, signing the check, you are not a project you're manager. Not project <laughs> manager. <laughs> you have to. You have to control budget, you have control schedule, you have to control everything what you know, the magic triangle and so on, so not to go in detail. Okay, uh, okay so, so, sorry, did you want to add more? Yeah, there, there are, I see, uh, we, we make uh, kind of uh, preparation seminars for IPMA and uh, PMI also, mm -hmm. but for IPMA I know that a lot of uh, CEOs of a smaller firm, you know, they want to uh, uh, have a certificate. And they don't, uh, you, they cannot accomplish because they are only the bosses, you know. They are not the project managers. They have project managers in their firm, and they cannot uh, go on level C or level B. You know, <laughs> they are frustrated, frustrated, because they cannot uh, prove that they were project managers. They only, you know. Yeah. They actually some, sometimes call us CEO. consultants, but I, I see more as hard workers because, you know, we are not consulting, we are working with, we are with the people, we are every day, we are listening hundreds of complaints and uh, working with them, and it is not consultant job, yeah. it's more that you are working and how to de deliver uh, in time, uh, deliver uh, schedule and so on. Okay, yeah, so, so my question is uh, related to that. So what if I just bring my contract that I have with my company and it says <laughs> I work as a project manager for the last three years? They're still going to call. So do you, can you so prove it in that way? You know, not like proving with actual projects? But do your clients hate you? Is that why you're asking <laughs> this? I mean, <laughs> no, just with my you know, job title as a, a project manager in a certain company. You have to say that you have managed as a project manager and to apply like this. 
and somebody will confirm it, your, uh, whatever. But uh, actually, you are saying that you are leading a project, not that you work there as, uh, I don't know what, but as a leader of a project. If you said that you were, uh, you were a team member and you, you were a project manager, you were actually lying and uh, falsificating uh, uh, your appliance. So I still have to prove that I'm leading actual projects in But uh, look like this, sorry. Uh, does it make sense? You will have PMP, okay, you are certificate, and you will come to Sam and say, oh yes, you are certificate, let's lead this project. But I don't know how. So you will, <laughs> you will become in a situation that you have a certification and you don't know how to lead a project. That is, uh, you know, not a good situation that you want to be. So that doesn't make sense that you fake this. Uh, it's a typical creation way of thinking, you know, uh, how to fake a PMP. I will be a PMP certificate and then, okay. First you have to lead a the project. Then something that is consequence of this is that you will be certificate. This you, is not the opposite way. You have, for IPM, you have to be in charge of a small team, like th three to five people, you know. Then, then you have a project. Then it's not just a daily, your daily work that you're only project manager and a team member and, and everything, you know. You have to lead small team and have a budget, have some deliverables, you know, and that you have to specify in that Excel sheet. You know. yeah. Problem is how to, uh, how will somebody give you a project if you don't have experience? So that's, uh, I come to the first point that you have to be someone, uh, let's say, right or left hand, and you are actually leading with him this project, you have to have yeah, also, experience also, person. Yeah, uh, also uh, for IPMA, uh, for uh, level C, you, you can, you can uh, uh, be a leader of a part of complex project. For example, yes, he said, you know, if I'm a level B and I have a big project, and you are leading some small part of my big project. That's also counted like uh, leading a small project. In project you know, in PMI also. Project. So yeah. actually you are leading some part of it, uh, yeah. but uh, not the whole program or whatever. So. More questions? A couple more minutes? Everyone's an expert now. Yes. <laughs> but we can unformally, uh, you yeah. can ask me what uh, Last statements, anything you want to fill in that you forgot maybe or? Uh, maybe. Maybe if uh, somebody is a student, I know that uh, IPMA or C uh, Croatian Association for Project Management, it has some discounts for students on level C and D. I, I don't know how, how much, I cannot say because they have changed it on the website, but I know that on, with some universities also, they have a kind of agreement, uh, I think with uh, Zagreb University, like 50% of discount on level D. So maybe what, if somebody- the, uh, full price? Full price uh, on IPMA is uh, 500 euros for level D, 1000 for level C, uh, and I think uh, 100. C, C was like uh, PMP. C was like PMP. Yeah. And uh, is there uh, like um, education training uh, organized by? Uh, Association or are those independent? No, they, they have a registered education provider. Ah. So I work also for a firm which is a registered education provider. So we, we organize like uh, exa uh, like uh, preparation centers. Ah. So you, you have at least five or six education provider uh, for also for PMI and uh, yeah. for IPMA. So you can just check on the website. There are a lot of providers, yeah. you can find them. <laughs> you can find them. <laughs> Yeah, but but uh, our difference is uh, for a provider which will give you uh, those uh, points. For example, P PDU points. Mm -hmm. uh, I work in a firm which has uh, also verified. So when you uh, uh, go on a PMP, it's different because you have to uh, need to collect those points. For IPMA, you need just one seminar, you know, and prove it that you have formal education. I don't know for 10, 20 hours. But on PMP, uh, you got seminars uh, which are uh, kind of pre-verified. Yeah, which, yeah. And on, on those seminars, so if you go on that audit, you said, then they will not check it and everything. And you go on some other uh, firm, then you yes, can have a seminars, problem. Uh, the education should have to be, uh, let's say, with, uh, have to be given from persons that are PMP, at least PMP certified, uh, and that cannot be the persons that have no experience in project management. So this is a less, uh, let's say, what we, uh, what we uh, ask for this education. This is okay. Yep, and uh, PMI also has uh, conferences. 
Uh, and so uh, this is kind of what Tommy Slaw was talking about. For instance, I think it's next week even. Yes, the next week. Yeah. What I've told you before, yeah. it's in Tuesday, 13, come here, and uh, workshops are in uh, one day before and one day later. But they also have them, for instance, in Italy or Austria. Yeah. And so if you go to that, that counts towards, that gives you yes. points towards maintaining the certificate. So, uh, Miro, you had a question? What are the usual prices for the preparation training? From full range. Uh, to, for help preparing for, for to which, take the For which certificate? For IPMA uh, or PMA? For the level C. For level C IPMA. Uh, we have a, a kind of a bundle where you can go uh, on the preparation and certificate. And uh, then, then the full price uh, is, uh, I think, also 1,000 euros because we are the representatives. So uh, practically, uh, education is within a full price of certificate for IPMA. And, and for, for PMI? For PMI? Uh, it depends. Uh, I'm not in this business, but you are. Actually. Yeah, yeah I'm <laughs> in that business, I can say, because we also have a seminars for PMI. We have a PMP prep uh, seminar, which is based, like, you have four hours in a room, uh, in a classroom uh, and then you have three months uh, uh, that you do a kind of preparation on web which uh, you can get all 35 points and then after those three months you get uh, also uh, four hours in the classroom and those four hours prior and after are more like uh, tips and tricks uh, from our uh, colleague you know which uh, will guide you like that Rita book which is also <laughs> the basic <laughs> literature for that uh, it will guide you how to how to uh, start thinking uh, to pass that, that exam because uh, uh, as I, I can cover also both organizations because we work with uh, both standards I can say that you have to uh, uh, switch your mind from Croatian to American you know and then when you think like it's American, then you will pass an exam yeah. because uh, the, the questions are made from Americans yeah. and in IPMA are questions made from Croatians, you know, yeah. so uh, that's the mindset. You should have to switch your mindset. And if you work with American companies, then you're very welcome so to go. Questions. Yeah, but you know, you have to be in, in there kind of uh, think yeah. in their way, you know. It's all about money. Yeah. That's, yeah. that's a secret. Yeah, it's so also you know. a, Yes, I was lucky that I had a certificate uh, education from America in Vienna, and that was something else. Uh, PMP uh, education, uh, this was really something very good, uh, prepared, and Great. useful. <laughs> okay, uh, I think that's it. So thanks again. Um, whose company is currently hiring project or product managers? Raise your hand. Okay, so look around if you want a job or you want a pay bump. So, Give and, me your uh, so, yeah, contacts. <laughs> uh, we have beer, of course, thanks to the Gordian. Thanks for hosting us. And um, I think we'll meet next month. Uh, if you have ideas or you want to hear about a specific topic, come find me or Mladen. We're happy to discuss it. Thanks again.